the Cleveland Cavaliers, as expected, have added their depth point guard. Rajon Rondo has been acquired by the Cleveland Cavaliers, and Denzel Valentine has been sent the other way. However, as a non fully guaranteed contract, he is expected to be waived by the LA Lakers and Stanley Johnson to be signed to fill in that roster spot as he has played extremely well in his 10 day contract. We'll get to all of that in a little bit. Let's talk first about Rajon Rondo and why the Cleveland Cavaliers have acquired him. Personally, I didn't love the Rajon Rondo fit with LA. I didn't think it was a good sign at the time this summer. I didn't love it for just the quality of Rajon Rondo and what he has left to offer in his NBA career, but I also didn't like the fit alongside the pieces they had at all. And that kind of turned out to be pretty true. Hence why he hasn't played in a while. But nonetheless, the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to benefit from Rajon Rondo. They need depth guards. Uh, Kevin Pangos is currently their second point guard on the roster, and he's a rookie who has a lot of international experience, but you don't really love for your backup point guard to be a rookie point guard who isn't highly regarded. Rajon Rondo is going to come in and be that backup point guard for them for the year. Someone with a lot of veteran experience, a lot of NBA experience, you can kind of fill that role for the time being. I think it's a smart trade for Cleveland. I don't think Rondo's amazing still at this point in time in his career, regardless of the fit, but I think the fit is better in Cleveland. His only solid to at least average trade, I would say at this point in time in his career is his playmaking. And so he's going to be able to play make with Jared Allen and Evan Mobley and hopefully get a connection with those bigs, ultimately off of the bench. He won't play with them as much, uh, but hopefully even with Kevin Love, he can develop some type of chemistry there with some of the bigs and be a fine playmaker and run a bit of the offense for them off of the bench. I don't love his impact on the Cavaliers team, but I think it's the right move for them because ultimately I didn't understand. Uh, there was no there was no reason for the Cavaliers to give up significant value to try and add some amazing backup point guard. The Cavaliers aren't going to be title contenders this year. It'd just be nice for them to make the playoffs. And so not giving up significant value and giving up significant future assets to add someone to just plug a hole for the rest of the season is smart and i think that's a good move for them to get someone but they don't have to give up something significant as such to hamper their future for the la lakers as mentioned denzel valentine is going to be heading back the other way and they could hold on to him but it doesn't sound like that is going to be the case a fine depth uh two three someone else will probably pick him up on a 10-day contract or uh for the rest of the season given the scenario of health and safety protocols the league is currently in i can't imagine he's fit without a team long but he can be a bit of a shot chucker, fine defender. Uh, one of the better three-point shooting seasons career so far this year, shooting around 40%. And I have no doubt he will end up on another NBA roster. But ultimately, Stanley Johnson is going to be the guy that likely gets signed for that Lakers for the Lakers in that roster spot. He has been very good for the Lakers in this 10-day contract, and I'm frankly surprised that he was without NBA roster for so long. He gives very good energy, very good defensive strength and toughness at a 3-4, a bit of small ball 5 now as we've seen with the Lakers high intensity good rebounding something that the lakers team needed from a personal standpoint from having someone who can defend and rebound but also hopefully to influence a few other guys on the team to bring that type of energy and try more on defensive end that being said that is my thoughts on the trade sending Reverend rondo to the cavaliers as well valentine to the lakers and likely resulting in valentine being waived and stanley johnson signing with the lakers let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.